Hello my dear subscribers and viewers, it's me with you again and yes, today I'm wearing a light gown because it's quite warm outside and it's the beginning of spring already, it's the 12th of March and it's the beginning of spring, it has been spring since the end of February already and we have a lot of spring flowers outside including daffodils and I suppose in a few days we are going to have tulips. Yes, at the 12th of March already, here as in many warm countries. Well, today I'm going to touch the topic I wasn't going to touch at the beginning uh, in the framework of this channel, but since the main point of this channel is being useful and many subscribers and viewers asked me some questions about Russia and immigration to Russia, I'm going to be useful in this point as well as in many others to my subscribers and viewers. If you are choosing a country you are going to immigrate to or you are going to visit as a tourist, you have to have an objective view of the country you are going to visit or immigrate to. Well, um, that is why the first point I am going to touch in this series of the videos concerning immigration to Russia and visiting Russia is stereotypes. Well, um, I know several stereotypes concerning Russia. The first one is that Russia is a country of vodka. The second one is that Russia is a cold country. Russia is a dirty country. And Russia is a country of bears. Well, I'm going to give you my view concerning the first stereotype about Russia is a country of vodka. Meaning that, supposing that, that there are a lot of drunkards here. Well, I don't know about other regions of the Russian Federation, but the region I live in is not notorious for having a lot of drunkards, to tell you the truth. What concerns me and my personal experience, uh, well, I know several people, only three men who have ruined their lives with uh, drinking, being drunkards. The first one has lost his children in a car accident and you know that not many people can face such difficulties in their lives without ruining their lives after, after that. The second one has lost his sight in a car accident and there is only one person who has ruined his life being a drunkard just because he liked drinking alcohol. It's not much, is it? Well, the second stereotype is the most laughable I've ever heard. Is that Russia is a country of bears. Well, I haven't seen a single bear outside in the streets in my life. No. I'm going to take a walking tour around my city, not around the whole city, perhaps at the beginning in the first video, walking video, but uh, around the surroundings of my home, uh, uh, surroundings of the house I live in. So you are going to have an objective view of the outside surroundings yourself. You won't see a single bear there, I promise you. The third stereotype is that Russia is a dirty country, uh, meaning that there are a lot of litter outside in the streets, there, are a lot of, uh, there is a lot of um, um, garbage outside, or that people throw garbage outside without litter bins. Uh, well, partially um, it is true. It is true in the point that uh, people th uh, can throw out um, cigarettes and cans without finding a litter bin. It's not the point that there are, that there are no litter bins uh, outside in the streets, but 
uh, there are some unconscious citizens that do such things. But um, I've been in many countries uh, in England and uh, in Italy, for example, and um, I can tell you the truth that uh, in the streets of provincial uh, British cities, it's not cleaner outside. You can see litter um, as well as in Russia. Uh, well, I've been to Italy and I was shocked in a way that uh, I even saw, sorry, shit in the street. Um, we were walking with my husband uh, around the city, Rome, imagine that it was Rome, and my husband cried out, watch out, it's shit in the way, just step out, please step out, be careful. Well, you can't face that in Russia. Uh, so the streets outside are much cleaner than in many European cities and um, towns. Concerning uh, Berlin, I've been to Berlin only once and uh, I've visited uh, the center of uh, the city. And to tell you the truth, it was much dirtier than the center of uh, the city, uh, of a provincial city um, I live in. So, <laughs> Russia is not the dirtiest country of all the European, that is for sure. Uh, streets are clean now outside and uh, you can see that yourself, you will be able to see that yourself when I'm, uh, when I will um, take a walk, walk into a, when I take a walk into a outside of uh, the house. Though, uh, then the third stereotype I, I was going to touch that uh, is that Russia is a very cold country. Uh, well, I've contradicted this stereotype with my looks already. You see, I'm, a, in, I'm in a light gown already at the beginning of March, and I hope that I will be able to walk in a light gown in a few weeks outside already. Uh, well, this, this stereotype is a widespread one, because when uh, English students, students, British students visited our city for learning Russian. Actually, they asked me, well, you're Russian and you can't skate? Well, I can't skate because uh, it's rarely below zero here in winter and um, there is not much ice. And uh, ice rings uh, started to appear only I don't know, 10 years ago here, when uh, ice skating became very popular in Russia in general, and um, they started to organize that. Uh, and then I started to learn skating. Uh, and when I was working with English students, with British students, I wasn't able to skate at that time. Well, it's very warm, quite warm in the south, much warmer than, for example, in Britain. When I started uh, to study in Great Britain, um, I walked outside. It was August, yes, I came to England in August, and it was a beautiful sunny day uh, at the beginning, at, at least it seemed to be, and uh, here I'm used to walking out with my hair wet uh, after taking a bath uh, without any suspicions that I will catch cold. There, I walked out there and in a few minutes the wind started blowing and uh, in a few minutes I started to feel icy cold <laughs> and I realized that there is no summer in Great Britain and uh, I always complained of cold there. 
So uh, it was much colder for me there than here in Russia. And uh, Great Britain is considered to be a country with a warm climate, and Russia is considered to be a country with cold climate. So uh, you see the difference yourself. It's much warmer in the south of Russia than in Great Britain. It's much drier and warmer. We have 40 degrees in shade in summer and we have uh, we rarely have uh, temperatures below zero here in winter and if it is um, below zero minus one for example it's already too cold for me because we are not used to the temp such temperatures here and my nose starts aching immediately when I go out, go out in frost and I simply try to stay at home when um, it's below zero. Fortunately, it's not too often. So, uh, if you are from a warm country, you should choose a warm country to immigrate to or a warm region of a country, of a big country, if it is Russia, for example. Uh, my advice to you is to choose um, a country with similar climate because it is hard to adapt to warm climate if you have grown in cold climate as well as vice versa. For example, we have uh, people from Siberia sometimes coming to the, south, to the southern regions and they tell that it is too warm for them here, too hot and they go back because they're used to living in a cold city. Personally, I can't understand how because uh, when I even visit Moscow in winter, once we traveled to Italy and had to change planes in Moscow, I, and uh, if to be honest, I damned the moment I decided to change planes in Moscow, not in Istanbul or some warm uh, city. Because when we went outside, we were taken to the hotel uh, by a bus completely covered with ice outside. And inside it was so cold, although it was heated, but it was cold, so that um, I had to sit on my husband's knees in order, uh, in fear, not to catch cold. So, um, Moscow, even Moscow, is not a possible region for me to stay and to live. Uh, the conditions um, in cold countries like Great Britain or uh, like the north of Russia, Siberia, are not compatible with uh, the conditions that I think as suitable for living. So if you are from a warm country, choose a warm region or a warm country altogether. Um, I can prove this point um, with a personal example. We had an immigrant here from Mexico and uh, he always complained of cold in the winter, although it is uh, quite warm here, as I described to you. But uh, he was from Mexico, and uh, Mexico is even warmer than the south of Russia. So if you are from a warm country, be cautious what region and what country to choose. Well, that is all uh, I was going to tell you about stereotypes concerning uh, Russia. And I, I suppose, I hope you have a more objective view of the country now. If you have uh, some questions, any questions about uh, you have about something you have heard about Russia, uh, just ask me, and I will answer in the next video. So the next video is going to be about uh, pros and cons of immigration in general because I have uh, many friends that are um, many friends immigrants here and many friends who immigrated from Russia to other countries uh, and quite different 
completely different experiences. So see you next time and I hope this video was useful to you and was interesting. See you. Goodbye.